and welcome everybody to the cosplay kit so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make ray's goggles from star wars the force awakens okay so here's what you need you'll need a hot glue gun and maybe a couple sticks um uh, you'll need scissors or a box cutter um you need a torch that has a blue lead in it um it doesn't have to be this size uh but yeah uh a green sharpie uh so yeah some safety goggles some silver duct tape or silver spray paint um so yeah scrap brown leather i actually found this off this bag that it i got it from the thrift store it's actually a pretty good bag and i'm thinking about using it for a fantastic beast um video um you need some of this clear stuff don't worry about that i'll tell you that about that later and you also need some beige kind of material um so yeah i know this is not the best material but it will do um i got a meter of it for about three bucks so yeah i'm on obviously you need some more stuff along the way okay so first you got to cut the goggles into a thinner shape you can also use um, some smaller goggles like these but it's i don't think they're wide enough for raised goggles so i think these do just fine they are a tint of blue but it doesn't mean a thing so yeah so what you want to do is you want to cut it with your scissors um and just make it thinner around the edge so pretty simple so yeah okay so now they're thinner um i've actually completely cut off the elastic um but don't, that doesn't matter so now we've got some thinner goggles they're not that they're not really uh i don't know how to explain it i'll use these ones to show you but it's, it's not like it like bends around your face now it kind of just sits there in place and it's kind of a bit rough um here you could stop that and i think i have to for this build um but you could also well she's got this like head thing on so yeah it wouldn't hurt your face anyway hopefully so yeah now you want to cover this in uh on with the fabric and some hot glue um but oh hang on i can unplug this and plug this one in so you can um only glue it around the edge um don't glue it in the middle um because you want to be able to see in it um and for that you want to actually i don't know uh what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna actually no what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trace the shape onto the fabric and then I'm gonna cut it out and then i'm gonna draw the eye shapes on and then glue it on there we go uh, that's better so yeah okay so i just looked at some reference reference pictures and it turns out that you need to cut this bit off if yours has got them this one doesn't um so it's got to be like that um so i've got to cut this off okay so now we have cut the eye shape out we can see um it depends if you if you didn't if this is just for display you didn't actually have to cut these eye holes out um this is so i can see so this will go on like that with this glued on top and then what i'm actually going to do is once i've stuck it on i'm going to use this green sharpie and color in the inside of the um, thingy and then i'll be able to see through it and yeah i guess yeah Alrighty then, so I did colour the this bit here and this bit here. So I did, did that and did that. And I can see through them. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see through them. Which is really, really awesome. And yeah, it's just a way to do it. I recommend buying like green lenses and sticking them on. That's what it looks like. But this is just a cheaper, easier way. and you can really see quite well um so yeah
Okay, so I picked up this grey kind of weird jacket thing at the thrift store for about uh, two bucks. Um, and I only got a little kid's one, so it's really small. Because I really only need a little bit of it to go around the edges of it. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. You can see through it. And yeah, it's only when you have like a lamp or something shining through, you can kind of see the mark of the pencil. But I'm not too bothered about that. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to wrap it around the edge of the goggles. Alrighty then, so we have got the base of Ray's goggles now. They're looking more Star Warsies and looking pretty cool, I think. So now we've just got to do the brown uh, leather kind of details using this piece of old. Um, you can either use black or brown. <laughs> I didn't realise that. Oh no, it's only on this piece. So it's black, that side, brown, that side. <laughs> but we're going to be using the brown side. And yeah, just look at reference pictures. And and then, yeah, just look at reference pictures. Um, and do this. And then you want to get a brown sharpie and draw the stitches around the eyes. Make sure you look at reference pictures. Uh, so yeah, and also I've... Um, put glue around the uh, eye bits to try and make it look a bit more like goggles. Uh, it, I don't know if it does. I don't even know if you can see it, but I kind of put it around the edge. That's what the inside looks like, so you can see. And, yeah. Okay, so boom, here we go. So we are almost finished. I've just got to attach the, um, the flashlight. So, where is it? Oh, if I can find it. I'm going to wrap it in some duct tape and stick it on to the right side. Um, so when you do like that, it'll be on that side. Okay, so now we have done that. I glued this on um, and then I glued a bit, bit over, a bit of leather over the top. So I think that's how it is in the movie. And the cool thing is you can actually turn it on and it just looks so cool. So all we've got to do now is we got to do the strap. So I think in the movie it is leather, but I don't really want to use this. And where is it? I don't know. Um, but the leather is not long enough for what I'm using. So I'm just going to use the black elastic of these. Um, but you could use the white elastic that it came with. But I think I'm going to use the black elastic. So yeah, I'm just going to glue it on. Okay, so boom, there we have it. That's how you make Ray's goggles um, from Star Wars The Force Awakens. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I think this is really cool. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.